everyone, SMG here. Welcome back to another SML reaction. This one's called Junior the Thief. We're going to get this started right away. I saw the thumbnail, so I know what's going on. So, go watch the original video. Go subscribe to SML. Make sure this video, subscribe, ring the bell, and share. And all the good jazz if you like this reaction. And yeah, without further ado, let's get it in 3, 2, 1, let's go. Oh man, I don't want to mess this up. Hey, Junior, what you doing? Yeah, dude. I'm trying to put this screen protector on my phone. Well, it's always good to use protection. Ooh, if my parents used protection, <laughs> they wouldn't have had me. <laughs> Same. Oh, guys, I just don't want to mess this yeah. up. I have one chance to put it on. Dude, I suck at putting screen protectors on. I'm great at it. But you are? Oh, yeah, it's really easy. Oh, can you put it on for me? Yeah, sure. All right, Junior, so the trick to putting on screen protectors is to just slap it down really fast and don't think about it. But don't think about it. No, because if you think about it, then you're going to get nervous, and that's when you start to make mistakes. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Okay, yeah. you your master do it. Just kind of line it up and BAM! What? What? Cool, you put it on sideways! Well, yeah, I, I just wanted to show you how not to do it. Okay, what? so I'm just going to take this and uh, peel it off. Okay, and then, and then, and then we're going to do it for real. But Cody, you're not even putting it on right! Well, well, you know what it is? It's this shirt. That's the problem. The shirt? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's like really tight and it's restricting my arm movement and it's just in the way. I'm going to go take my shirt off. What? <laughs> okay, Daddy's ready. It's gonna be oh. way easier now that I don't have that disgusting <laughs> shit. Funky Cody, you will burr. Oh, it's drilled on. What? Drilled on? Yeah, what? You can drill stuff like... into walls as long as you find a stud. And I'm one big stud. Oh, Cody, can you just put the screen protector on right? Yeah, it'll be way easier this time. Okay. <clears throat> Cody, we're not, even, we're not even close. What? Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. Just... <clears throat> Cody, you're not even trying. I'm trying, okay? I'll do it. Just watch. You know, I'll just do it. What, no, no, Jun Junior, it's, it's these shorts. That's the problem. They have to come off, too. What? No, Cody, you know, I'm just gonna do it myself. You know what? No, no Junior, I, I can I'll do just it. Let me, just let me do it. Just like, what? Oh. 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 Co Cody, you just broke my screen protector! Mm. What? They, Cody, they cost like $50! Mm. Uh, now I have to go ask my dad for more money, and I don't even think he's gonna give me any. Mm. Cody, say something! Uh, Bruh. Uh, Dad? <gasps> what do you want, Junior? I'm trying to take a nap. Uh, you know that screen protector you just bought me? Yeah, what about it? Cody broke it trying to put it on my phone. Dang it, Junior, that's a $50 screen protector. Why aren't you more careful? Uh, that's all you have to say? Yeah. Uh, <sighs> Look, Junior, I guess I'll spend $50 more dollars on a screen protector instead of spending thousands of dollars on a whole new phone if you were to break that one. Will you buy me a new screen protector? Yeah, I guess so. Wait, wait, wait where's your wallet? What, wallet? <laughs> Look, look under your bed. What? <gasps> Dad! Why do you have so much money under your mattress? Junior, ever since I was 18, I've been stuffing my mattress with cash so the IRS wouldn't find my money. Oh, that, that's a really smart idea, Dad. Eh, I smart know. move. So get what you need. Get a hundred dollar bill and bring my change back, okay? Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Don't tell anybody about my cash. I don't want Chef Pee Pee thinking he can get paid now. Oh, okay. That, that's like... Yeah, yeah, don't say too much. Okay, okay yeah. thanks, Dad. Guys, guys, guys! My dad gave me money for a new screen protector! Dude, $100? I didn't know your dad was loaded. Yeah. I knew he was a Delph, but I didn't know he was a sugar daddy. A too. Delph? No, Whoa! Guys, I mean, this is like all he had in his wallet. It's not like he has like a thousand dollars stuff under his mattress or anything. That's kind of specific, Junior. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like, sus. Me. Like, you're acting like he like sleeps like a million dollars under his bed, like he's hiding from the IRS or something. Dude, you, do you have something to say to us? Yeah, does he? What the guy? Look, I'm gonna buy a new screen protector, and I have to give my dad back the change because he's not rich or anything. He's he just he's really poor, and he, he's gonna give me back the change. Like this is supposed to be our, our money. Wait, where's this, this week, phone? But uh, he said go get a screen protector. All right, guys, I got another screen protector. All right, let Daddy get to work. No, no, Daddy's not gonna get back to work because you broke the last one. Now at least he called me Daddy. Well, no, I'm gonna call a professional company to put the screen protector on my phone. You just love wasting money, don't you? Well, then you wasted money because you broke my last one. That was fifty dollars. You just wasted money. But Junior, I told you the shorts were the problem. Just let me take my shorts out. No, the shorts have nothing. To I do mean, with my phone already has a screen protector on, like, and it's it's pretty good. Somebody called Doctor Screen Protector? Uh, yeah. Why do they call you Doctor Screen Protector? Oh, cause I'm like a surgeon, cause of how precise I am with putting screen protectors on phones. Yeah. You're that good? Oh yeah, I'm great. She's amazing at it. Screen protective putting on me. I wanted to be a screen protector putter on on my entire life. You know, I come from a long line of screen protector putter ons. My great great grandfather. That's a job. The first screen protector on the first screen. But he did. Yeah. On the first you know, iPhone. Was actually gonna be screen protector putter on her. But, you know, that's kind of hard to fit on a license, so we just changed it to guy, you know, because people were always like, who's that guy who puts screen protectors on phones? And, and then, yeah, we were like, oh, guy, yeah, that's a good. So guy. Anyway, where's the patient? Uh, patient? Yeah, your phone. 
Oh, oh, it's right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see that. Uh, now, where's the screen protector? Is this it? Oh, oh, whoa. What happened here? Oh, my friend tried to put a screen protector on my phone. Oh, yeah. That's what happens when you do some amateur screen protector puttering awning. Yep. I hate to see it. All right, let's go to the operating room. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, vitals are good. He looks healthy. Oh, please take care of him, doctor. Oh, don't worry. I'm a professional. I've done this hundreds of times before. Alrighty. The first thing we want to do is make sure the screen is nice and clean. We're just going to wipe it down. Okay, there you go. That looks good. And then we're going to take this thing. But what is that? This is the screen protector putter on a helper. Yeah, screen protector putter on a helper. We're just going to put that on there. Right, right, right there. Just put it on nice and tight. Okay. Okay, that should be good. Now... We take the screen protector and very carefully, oh, careful. very carefully, just put it on. Make sure it fits nice and nice and snug right in there. Okay, that looks good. And now we gently, gently peel this back. There we go. And pop this off. Well, bam, bam. There what? you go. But what about all those air bubbles? See, look at all those air bubbles. Don't panic. Don't panic. I can take care of those. We just got to get something really heavy and put it on top of the phone. Wait, something really heavy? Well, my friend Cody, his mom's like 500 pounds. No, no, no. No, we need no. something heavy. And You're believe gonna... me, if we needed a heavy person, we'd just get my ex-wife. Because she is so fat. Yeah. So, so damn fat. No, no, it's okay. Just follow me outside. Uh, okay. Okay, just put this under here. Well, what are you doing? I'm going to run it over with my car. We're well, going to break the phone. I'm not gonna yep. break the phone, dummy. There's a screen protector on there. This is a 3,000 pound car. It's gonna break the screen protector and the phone. What, look, what's the point of having a screen protector on the screen? Oh, Brooklyn's gonna, gonna ruin it. Screen. Brooklyn's gonna ruin it. No, it's no. Gonna break it. It's not gonna break it, okay? We just gotta squeeze I'm gonna out that I'm gonna... air bubble and we need that weight, okay? So don't Bruh, worry about it. Look, no. Come on, no. You, me, exactly. So I'm just gonna put this down here and I'm gonna run it over. Okay. All right, I'm gonna run this bad boy over. Then why aren't you in your car? Oh, because I have a Hyundai Sonata. A 2021 Hyundai Sonata. A 2021 Hyundai Sonata in a stormy sea. I'm gonna hug my phone what because what it means <laughs> I don't want my phone to be uh, so cracked. I can run over your phone without even being in the car. Wait, really? Like, like, there's no one in the car? There's no one in the car. I can just. She do can it. just control it. Up. Watch this. Hold on. It's going up. You hear that? Up. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here we go. It's doing. Ah, oh, no. Yeah. There you go. What, it did? Yeah, I ran over it. Uh, well, let's check and see if the air bubbles are out. Okay. Yeah, well, that air bubble's still on there. Well, uh, but we just ran it over. No, it's okay. We'll run it over a few more times. Not a problem. We'll check the back. Is oh, the... don't look at the back. Uh, show me the back. No, you don't want to see the back. Show me the back. <laughs> what? You broke my phone. No, you broke your phone. What did you ran it over? Well, you didn't have a screen protector on the back. That's not my fault. Bye. Uh, no, I got to get a new phone. My dad's going to be mad. Ugh. Guys, guys, guys! Dude, what happened to your phone? Yeah, Junior. The guy put the screen protector on it. What? How do you mess it up that bad? Well, I... after we put the screen protector on it, there were air bubbles. So we tried to get the air bubbles out by running it over with a car. That's not how you get air bubbles out. I know, and now my I know. broken, and I don't know how I'm gonna get a new phone. Dude, just ask your dad for some money. Yeah, he gave you $100 like it was nothing. Yeah, but, but he gave me the $100 for a new screen protector so he wouldn't have to buy me a new phone. If he finds out my phone's broken, he's gonna ground me. Well, but if he can afford to give you $100, then he can afford to buy you a new phone. <sighs> Guys, I got something to tell you. What is it doing? What? Do you have certain feelings whenever you see me without my shirt? No. No. My dad has like a bunch of money stuffed under his mattress. Whoa, really, dude? How yeah. Much? I don't know. It could be like a million dollars, or it could be just enough to hang off the side to make it look like there's a lot of money under the bed. Ooh. I don't know. I just, Maybe just I, a few I really hundred. Money, but I can't ask my dad for it because he'll ground me. Dude, just take it. Look, it's a lot of money under the bed, right? Just take the money. He's not going to know. Well, Joseph, that would be stealing. Who cares, Cody? <laughs> Joseph's right. I should just go there. My dad would never notice the money's missing, so I'm just going to go in there and take the money. I think you should just ask him. No. What? He won't notice $1,000 missing. One, two, three, four. Better not be stealing my money. Oh. I grabbed a thousand dollars. Wow, you weren't lying. Wow. He does have a lot of money under his mattress. Oh, no. Nice. took more. Well, I just grabbed enough to get a new phone, so I'm gonna go ask Chef Pee if he can take me to the store. Wait, 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 wait. You didn't need anybody to take you to the store when you got the screen protector. Yeah. Huh.
Mm-mm-mm. My candy souffle is almost Candy done. souffle? Oh, what do you want, Junior? Can you take me to the store to buy a new phone? Wait, where did you get all that cash from? Uh, don't stay under my dad's mattress. Don't stay under my dad's mattress. Wait, what Bruh. did you just say? Uh, definitely not under my dad's mattress. Dang it. <laughs> Your dad has cash under his mattress? No, I didn't say he had thousands of dollars Bruh. under his mattress. I didn't say that. <laughs> Junior. He doesn't pay me any money, so he probably has cash under his mattress. Well, he does it, Sheppy B, and, and if you go look and see it, uh, don't say you heard from me. You know what? I'm gonna go and check. No, Sheppy B, don't check. Oh, dang it. Who's gonna take me to the store? Oh my god, look at all this cash! Oh yeah, I'm about to steal all of this. Wait, wait, what's that noise? Shut pee -pee. Shut, baby, what are you doing in my room? Uh, nothing? Wait, wait, are you stealing money from under my mattress? Uh, no, not yet. Well, I'm about to count all my cash, because I know exactly what's under my mattress. And if you stole even a dollar from me, I'm gonna blame you for it! Damn. Uh. What's wrong, Junior? I accidentally told Chef Pee, Pee about the money under my dad's mattress. Oh, no. Wait, where's Joseph? Oh, he said he was out of here, dude, and then he took my shirt and ran off. That's okay. It was too tight for That's me. fine. Hey, guys. Say goodbye to Chef Pee, -Pee. Well, Goodbye to Chef Pee, Pee Why? He stole $1,000 from me, so now he has to go swimming with the fishes. I didn't steal money from you. Well, who did then? Ahem. What? Junior. What? Don't you think you should tell him you stole the money? I would get grounded. Yeah, but would you rather Sheppy be died? Well, I don't want to get grounded. Junior, it'll just be for the rest of the video. Yeah. Do the right thing. God, do it. The truth hurts. The truth hurts. Junior? Oh, God, he's stuck. Uh, help me. Help me. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Junior, oh, <laughs> no, just, just oh, look that way. Okay, thank you. Okay. Dad? What do you want, Junior? I have something to tell you. What? Chef Pee didn't steal the money. Wait, wait, who did then? It was me. <gasps> Junior, why did you steal money from me? What? Well, I needed a new phone. My phone broke. Well, the, the screen protector, Junior, the screen protector. There wasn't one on the back. And it, uh, I didn't want to ask you because I didn't want you to get mad, so I stole the money. Well, I'm more mad that you stole money from me. You should have just asked for it, Junior. That's yeah. what I said. So what's my punishment? 20 spankings. But wait, but what's his punishment? That's it. 20 spankings. Wait, wait, you get spanked as a punishment? Yeah. What? I want that punishment. Wait, uh, so you'll take this punishment for me? Yeah, spank me. Uh, Dad, uh, Cody said he'll take the spankings for me. All right, come on. I don't care who gets it. All right. Uh, all right. <laughs> hey, well, let's get it. I mean, at least he gets a new phone. Hey, let's... Hey, at least Junior did... I mean, Junior learned a good lesson. Just... <laughs> Cody's getting the punishment for Junior. That's honestly good. All right. At least Junior got a new phone back. At least Junior got a new phone. Anyways, guys, go watch the original video. Go subscribe to SML. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe, ring the bell, and share if you like this reaction. And hey, yo, I thought it was really good. I thought it was like a 7. At least. At least a 7. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, guys. Thanks for watching. And deuces.